kitchen's open y'all if you haven't done so yet please go ahead and say hi all these folks here in the chat wherever that is this side that side would love to give you a warm welcome to silver lighting home place i'm dina and those guys that i just talked about they're the ones i call for a good time in the kitchen so tonight we're going to make bow tie pasta with chickpeas and tomatoes and then we may do a little surprise depending on how we're doing on time towards the end uh, let's uh let's see who's here my mouse doesn't want to work tonight hey sherry paul keely tori hey michelle all right i missed anybody i don't think so so what are we doing tonight we are going to do dinner and i think this is boiling uh <laughs> i decided i was going to make this dish and i was absolutely certain that i had chickpeas like i would have probably paid somebody five hundred dollars saying i have chickpeas um i looked high and low i didn't have chickpeas but i did have a bag of dry because you know i'm me and <laughs> so i put it in the in the instant pot got that going total chill and then i opened the cupboard to get something and a can of chickpeas fell out and hit me in the head so i was right in the end but i had a little bit of a panic Hey, Obs, nice of you to join us. All right, dinner, but let's make a cocktail first. And tonight it's going to be, what is this thing called? It's a limoncello sunrise using limoncello made by our own Sherry Kennedy. So what is the thing here we're going to use some orange juice grenadine and limoncello get some ice how's everybody been doing today Feel like it was another one of those days when we got to hang out all day long So, Sherry, I'm going to need more of this, I'm sure. <laughs> Is that right? That can't possibly be right. I'm going with it. No, if you're going to be drinking, you've got to be primed for it, I think. Excuse me for a moment. They've been barky butts all day long. I've never done this. I've always wondered if I could pull it off. Let's see.
have a feeling it's not supposed to look like that though. That's okay. They're filthy, y'all. Not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Yay for me. All right. Um, I kind of like these. All right. I've got the water boiling for the um, the pasta here, and you can't see it because it's over here. But that's it's almost on the boil. I'm not going to salt it yet. You don't want to salt your your water until it's boiling because salt water takes longer to boil. So let's take a look at the recipe. This is super, super, super simple. In fact, it's embarrassingly super simple um, because you just open cans. But I am gonna try something a little different tonight. This tomato has been trying to break my foot for a week and a half, so um, when I have too many tomatoes and not enough time to deal with them, I throw them in. I take the core out and then throw them in a bag like this and you end up with bocce balls, but I'll be able to, to, to have a fresh-ish like tomato, so it kind of makes me happy this away. Um, pasta and pasta and chickpeas did not sound good together to me in the beginning, but now now I'm, I'm digging this. This this is my thing now. Um, let's see what y'all are talking about. Hey, Kathy. Good to see you here. Hey, Gretchen. I've got sticky fingers. Mouse. Water is almost at the bowl, at which time I will salt it so it tastes like the sea. And then we'll get to business. Um, salt. It's time.
All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown a little bit of the, uh, the panko. So let me get that. All right. The main ingredients are all about the same texture. I mean, the, the garbanzo chickpeas and the pasta are kind of the same texture. And then, you know, diced tomatoes, once you cook them, are really no texture, I guess. So um, it's optional, but I like to put the panko on it to give it a little more body in my mouth, um, make it a little more interesting. So that's what we'll do now. And I think I'm gonna season it just a little bit. I normally don't, but why not? Well, that's not ready yet, but I can check the check piece that I didn't need to cook. Oh yeah, we're so using these and they're gonna be so good. Oh yeah, perfect. Um, these are from, uh, what is this, Palouse Brands. And they're, they're a, a family owned farm in Eastern Washington. Hey Kevin, thanks for joining us. onion powder. And probably just a little bit of salt and some fine ground pepper. Kevin, we are making bow tie pasta with chickpeas and uh, tomatoes. I always think that it's gonna burn quickly and it just never seems to brown the way I want. Um, I suppose I could do this in the broiler, but my luck with the broiler, it's like a burn notice. I just burn everything when I put it in the broiler. Okay, 
That's starting to smell really good though. The onion's starting to come up and smelling great. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Um, I, Tori, have never tried it with anything but chickpeas because, well, I like chickpeas. Um, what else could you use? I mean, I suppose if you like another bean, you can try that. Maybe some cannellini beans. That might be good. Uh, so this is brown now. I'm going to pull this off. Remember, this just is just a topping at the end. It's not going to be cooked in. That's that. Put that aside over here. And I need to do some garlic. Hold it like you mean it. Choke up. Be safe. Gives you better control. I gotta pull that track out. Christmas dinner on Saturday morning and I'm just going to go ahead and stream it. That'll be my vlog this entry for the day. It's going to be super long, but uh, I'll be able to get some good micro content out of it. So I'm kind of jazzed about that. These get sticky fingers after that. Have we talked about curling your fingers up? You want to catch your fingers off if you're doing this, but if you are like this, it's really hard to actually make yourself. So I'll try to turn here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm keeping that leading edge right on my knuckle and keeping the fingertips out of the way. So the business end of the knife doesn't really have a chance to hit anything because it's doing one of those juggies. This doesn't have a lot of other stuff in it, so I'm probably going to put a little bit more. Uh, a little more garlic in here. Okay, we're on the boil over here. Bowtie pasta. I'm guessing um, probably a half pound. That'll get me through the next couple days, probably. Yeah, 
I was going to move this pot over there, but all we're going to get is a face full of steam, and nobody wants a face full of wetness. So, all right. This is ready. Let's try cutting up a bocce ball, huh? Sometimes I'll grate it, depending on what I'm doing. And I'm actually going to get my 9-inch chef out because it's just easier. So this already has a pretty good flat top, so I'm not worried about it. This pretty much dices itself. It's like a tomato ice cube. And it'll give me some of the bigger chunks that I would like. Give me something a little more full bodied in the mouth rather than just wimpy diced canned. So that's done. Give the pasta a stir here. Y'all are awfully quiet. Oh, Kevin, we will become fast friends. I'm certain of it. Man, Keely, you've got somebody cooking for you? Nice. That must be nice. Tori. Yes, it does dull the knives a little, but that's what Jonathan's for. No. Um, that's another reason that I went with the 9-inch Chef, because I don't use it very often, so... If it's dull, I won't be all that upset. Oh look, the man, the myth, the legend. Welcome. Pull up a stool. We're making uh, bow tie pasta with uh, chickpeas and tomatoes. Mine don't mush either because they're frozen. So I'm going to drain off some, some of these cooked chickpeas while we wait. need a bigger vessel. That'll be enough. Let me check. 
check the pasta again. So, the company sends me a Christmas gift every year. Pasta's not done yet. Um, we get to choose our gift. Anybody want to take a guess at what Dina picked? Because, you know, one is not enough. I got a new one. Very excited about this. Um, this one is has not been treated as well as I should have over the last several months. So I'm excited to have a, a new board that I will use for non-aromatics, not meats. And let's see if it looks different. That feels nice. Slightly different color. Oh, Doc, I need one of those. So, yeah, Dina got a new board. Dina, extremely happy. This, who doesn't like a big board? Let's get this um, this stuff sautéing a little bit. Um, let's see. It's um, maple. And Keely, what do you know about Matt? So I am going to open a can of diced because I like it a little wet. And I start by draining it because I don't know how wet I want it until I just see it all come together. I think it's two drinks, Kevin. Yeah, I think so. And 
I just squirted all over myself. All right. I gotta take care of those white t-shirts. Get this pasta off and then I'll come back over and uh, take care of getting some hot shakies into the uh, the thing. What is that thing we do? Red pepper flakes. I call them hot shakies. I am going to drop a little basil in here and hopefully I can find some oregano. Yeah, we'll skip the oregano tonight. Stuff on the wild side. All right, so this is almost done. Throw in the chickpeas. And it doesn't really matter that I cover them or not because I'm going to go get the pasta. I'm going to drop that into the uh, pan and then we're going to come back and just drop this right on top and the pasta is going to be done. So some people like to put cheese on this. I do not. I also don't like cheeseburgers really that much. So, um, but yes, I do like cheese. Sherry can tell you all about Dina and her cheese. Um, but yeah, just, I don't, well, you know what it is? I don't like American cheese. It's called processed cheese food. That is what you feed your cheese. Just saying. 
All right, let's plate this. Let me, I gotta find, let's look at questions real quick here. Is there a video on freezing tomatoes, Kathy? No, but there will be. It's official right now. Um, and that's actually why I ke I've been keeping them in here instead of putting them in the deep store deep freeze because uh, I've been wanting to do that. Where did I get it? I got the. Uh, it's from Made In, MadeIn.com. I don't think they carry them on Amazon, and I really like it. But I suspect that anything similar is fine. I got nothing. Yes, there's a lot of dishes at my house that hot shakies don't belong in, but I'm kind of a heat whip, so that's that. Not yet tried chickpeas and pasta. Well, sweet pea, I'm a beef girl myself. But once you try this, you probably won't go back. Well, you might, because all the protein's good. All right, so this is done. Let's get this plated. It, I know it looks super bland, but it's not because we salt the, um, the pasta really well, you know, the water, and then If you know what you're doing, you're going to put some Malden on there. And in addition to the Malden, I salted the, I salted the breadcrumbs. So where's our Malden? Let me see if I can get close enough for you all to see what these look like. They are little teeny, like, pyramids almost. And they just hang on to the food really well. So they look pretty. You get just enough of a little glint. And then we'll put the breadcrumbs on. This is a great food for those people that eat only the things that look like the same color. So that's that. Let me get a glass or a, what are those things called? Fork. Try it. And then I think we do have time to do the little surprise thingy. A nice crunch. Mm. Good stuff. It's bueno. All right. Questions. I might need another one of those. So, um, for those of you who are eating, you know, cooking for two, one, um,
Malden sea salt flake, so. I love pound cake, but it comes in large quantities that I do not need to be consuming at one time. So what I do is I purchase them, I cut them up, and I do three in one vacuum seal bag. And then I throw them in the freezer. And let's see, I did these in May. Was it May? Yeah, it was May. And it's totally fine. Um, the one thing to do is after you vacuum seal it, you know, you put it in the free freezer, blah, blah, blah. Pull it out and cut it open as soon as you get it out of the freezer. Otherwise, it starts to like compress more because it's basically vacuum packed. So that's what I have to say there. I'm going to blow your mind in a minute with what I do with that. The next part of this little dessert is some blueberries, also from the freezer. You two and your cake. I'm right there with you. So, got blueberries. I'm going to, let's see. Yeah, they're good. They're good. They're thawed out enough. Dry them off a little. Wet and messy. Sop it up a little. All right, now. Here, here's the trick. We are going to... Now the per the best way to do this is to put the pound cake... Put the pound cake on the grill. But let's face it, my pink snow patrol light is on, so I'm not gonna go put anything out on the grill right now. So, I'm going to put it in the toaster. Um, the sugars in the pound cake are going to almost burn. They won't. They'll caramelize a little. So you'll get this really kind of delightfully crunchy outside. And then the soft pound cake inside and it'll be warm and delicious and you will thank me forever. Like when you're 80 and you're eating this, you will remember me for this. Aubrey, it's called Dancing on the Table. Because, let's face it, if I hadn't had knee replacement, I might just get up here. Just be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to set it too high because the sugars in here will burn pretty quickly. So, toast is down. Let's get a plate. We're going to need this. Gotta watch it closely. I think we need to drink. Yeah, Kevin, we had a pretty long spell of rain. I introduced myself as Noah one day because there was just all the rain, all of it. Mm. 
You know that caramelized smell you get with um, crepes? It's happening right down there. Brown food is what? Brown food is good. So I'm going to kind of slice these on the bias, make them look pretty. I'm gonna hold a couple out so I can take a social photo later. So they're nice and crispy on the outside, but on the inside, they're nice and soft. And then we're gonna drizzle some limoncello on it. Add some berries. And they can be all over the place because, you know, I like to be messy. And then, got myself. And then just a dab more for color. And you'll get a nice taste of that limoncello straight off the top. So, find a fork here. Good. It's really light. And it's not too sweet, but it's a nice balance to the pasta, which frankly I'm going to eat some more of right now. Let's see what you guys are saying. Good on you, Keely. What are you going to do with that pound cake? Because I would just eat it as is. Sorry. Not sorry. Yeah, I think Kevin's going to fit in just fine around here. And which one in particular are we talking about, Kathy?
True story, Doc. Ooh, that sounds good. You know what I think I was gonna, I was thinking about this this morning. I think I'm gonna make some Biscoff sandwiches with mine, because. Delicious. So delicious. Um, it's um, scandalously delicious. I, I have to eat this in private. Y'all will be watching this. you were joining me for Christmas, Sherry. We're having Biscoff sandwiches in the morning. Oh, the best way to care for cutting boards. That's a great one. Gosh, you're, you're full of good. We should have lunch sometime, Miss Gabby. Um, what else we got? Boys, I can out tool you. Okay, maybe I can't app tool you, but you know, I got the tools. Anytime you want, Sherry. That actually reminds me. I am going to stream on Saturday morning if anyone is interested. I'm just kind of curious uh, what time people would want me to start. Doc, the thing that makes this better, and Keely, say it with me, bacon. <laughs> I don't know about that. Watching on TV, but commenting on the phone. Okay, 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 I got gotcha. you. All right, does anyone have any questions? I'm gonna pour another drink. Oh yeah, I said bacon and Nutella, I did. stuff y'all all right I am done here I'm gonna hold on about uh, 20 seconds 30 seconds to see if anyone has questions yes I am running dry my friend um, I'm going to need some help with that. I've drank more of it in this stream than I have in the previous four years. Yes, everybody get a, dra a glass ready here. We should do a little uh, Merry Eve Eve. Happy holidays, everybody. Doc. Your package should be there tomorrow, and I um, shouldn't be talking about your package on the internet like that. But um, 
Let me know what you think. There's a little something special in there for you. All right, peeps. Love you. Oh, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Tomorrow is big, okay? Um, first, yes, I, I wanna raise a glass to Doc Rock because without him, I wouldn't be doing this right now. I wouldn't have found Keely, or Keely wouldn't have found me. Michelle wouldn't have had to answer all my questions for a month before I actually was willing to say anything in class. So, so thank you all, thank you. Cheers to all of you. And then on Friday, tomorrow night, we're having a very special version of Silver Lining Home Place. Uh, Keely, Michelle, and Gigi will be appearing next to me on this side, I guess. Yes, this side. They will be uh, commentating and they will choose where I get my main ingredient from in the kitchen. So it'll might be the refrigerator, the freezer, the cupboard, pantry, what? And it is, it is uh, up to them where I have to get my main ingredients, which means I can't plan ahead because I don't know what they're going to do. So a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a, uh, a game show kind of atmosphere, but you know how Keely and Michelle and Gigi are when they get to, to, to throw in, uh, throw in all kinds of comments around. We're going to have a good time tomorrow night, five o'clock Pacific. I'll get it on the schedule. Um, probably first thing in the morning. And then, like I said, um, if you have, want to weigh in on what time I start on Saturday morning, the, the epic Christmas cooking uh, stream, I'm going to do that. Just let me know. And everybody take care. I'm out.